Good morning, good morning, everybody. We are here at the uh, Kings Inn Hotel, just into Montana. Yes, and we had a great night's sleep. We all had a good shower this morning and brushed our teeth, and now we're ready to go. We haven't had breakfast yet, but hey, we are ready to go. Have you noticed the shirt? We are getting in gear. Oh, yeah. Well, what I forgot to tell you yesterday, or yesterday evening, is we just about ran over a fox there yesterday at night. <laughs> yeah, well, I managed to slow her down just enough so where the fox could get across the highway and uh, we're safe on the road. Yeah. Anyways, let's get going here without wasting too much time. And we will see you on the road here somewhere. So we'll try and make our way as close to uh, Seattle as we can and uh, we'll have ourselves an awesome day. Here we are guys cruising along Highway 2 here in uh, Montana. Pretty much flat lands up here. A little hilly other than that it's pretty flat. Pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Every once in a while you see a little bit of a farmer and that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Pretty flat up here, that's for sure. You don't see a whole lot of trees up here. It looks kind of dry up here, actually. Alrighty, guys, we are still cruising along here on the. Well, we have made it over to uh, US 87. Yep. And now we're just cruising along here and. Enjoying the beautiful sceneries that we get to see up here, and uh, yeah, we got about 48 miles to go to Great Falls. Uh, I don't even know if that's Idaho or Montana still. I don't even know for sure, but I know it's Great Falls. But anyways, we're cruising along, having fun. We got about 690 miles to go to Seattle, but we uh, got 321 Central Time right now. And the further uh, west we go, the time changes. It's already one hour behind the Central Time, and once we get towards Washington, it'll be two hours behind Central Time. So the sun is going to be up longer. So. Should be able to get a few hours of driving and yet today. Anyways, we'll go over to Great Falls and we'll probably put some more gas in. All that good stuff and then uh, continue on with our journey. But yeah, it looks like it's starting to get more and more hilly, eh? Yeah. Pretty foggy out there. Yeah, it looks like a little fog or I don't know what that is almost smells like smoke must be from all that wildfire that they had up here a while back ago yeah that's what it smells like but anyways we'll continue on with our journey and we'll be back in a bit here we go guys we are coming into great falls montana that is yeah so we're gonna make a right hand turn up here turn right on smelter avenue northeast that's a weird name, Smel Smelter. <laughs> Smelter Avenue, alright. Well, Smelter Avenue, I guess it smells up here because of this oil refinery up here. Whew, yeah, that's, uh, that's a bad smell. I guess we could feel right here up to the, up to the left up here, but uh, I think we'll go up to the Flying J and fuel up over there yeah we'll fuel up over there and then at least I get uh, I get points on my card you know on my flying J card you know anyways let's go over there and fuel her up hey guys we are just taking our exit to go to the flying J and look at this plane here to the right kind of hoping you'll be able to see the airplane there it looks like a fighter jet. So we're just gonna make a little bit of a stop up here. My wife can take a few pictures of it. 
Yeah, there we go. Take a picture and then we'll go. There's nobody behind us anyway, so we can. We're not bothering anybody, so. There we go. So we got a picture of it. Now we're gonna go over here to the flying hook or pilot, I guess. Now we'll fuel up. Yeah, I stayed uh, overnight at this one one time. I remember that. That's a long, long time ago. Arriving at pilot on the left. It says it's on the left, but it's actually on the right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we'll go fuel her up over here and then. Uh, Probably use the restrooms. Let's see, we can probably go over there. I remember parking here one time, yeah. So, let's see, I, one thing that I don't really like about the US fuel in here is uh, you kinda gotta go inside and get them to activate the pump before they will let you fuel. Up in Canada and Steinbach, most places you just pull up and Turn the nozzle and you can feel. Apparently you can't do that here, so. Anyways, I'll go feel. Well guys, we are feeling over here. And look at this. I wish I had these guys with me all the time when I'm in the truck. So that way I wouldn't have to do my windows, you know? Yeah. <laughs> look at this guy. He's cleaning my window. <laughs> so let's fill this up. I don't think it's full yet. It's only uh, 13 gallons. I think we should be getting somewhere around 20 gallons. Yeah, uh, this a little bit of a high pressured pump, so it kicks out really easily. But yeah, JP, look at that. The flags are going pretty strong. We're still uh, still attached to the whole thing here. So, anyways, we'll fill her up. It's a little windy out here, and we'll be back. Hey guys, here we are cruising along on I-15. It is absolutely beautiful, beautiful scenic up here. Yeah, we got a little bit of a river there to the right. Yes, sir. It is absolutely gorgeous. I've been down this road before, but my wife has never done, gone down this road. So she's taken a lot of pictures, which is good. Good memories. Now we can look back later on on what we uh, saw. And all that good stuff you know and uh, we were going to go down highway 200 earlier and we decided well we'll just go down uh, i-15 here because our speed limit is a lot higher and uh, there at 200 i think that i've been on that road i believe one or two times before with a truck and it's a really narrow zigzagging road and all that stuff so i figured well I didn't think it would be just as quick to go down on this road than it would be to go on that 200 and still, you know, probably be even faster going down on this road. So I decided to just go on I-15. I yeah, we'll go over here to US-12 and I will take that across over there to uh, I-90. And then we'll be putting the hammer down again. So look at that, 75 mile an hour speed limit up here. That is pretty fast. Look, uh, driving down here like a race car. <laughs> oh man, look at these gorgeous mountains up here, eh? Feels like it's a little windy though today. It certainly does. See, there's the river right there to the right. It's a way to yep. Some beautiful buildings up there. I slow down for these corners because I'm not used to driving that fast. <laughs> oh, man, there's somebody in the river up there, eh? Probably going fishing. Yeah. Yeah, looks like it, yeah. Anyways, oh, there's another one over there. Absolutely gorgeous up here, that's for sure. Anyways, we'll continue cruising now. We'll be right back. Alrighty guys, we are just about to turn on to Highway 12 and have a look at this big American flag up here. I love that. I love a nice big flag like that. Oh yeah. Going through a little bit of a city up here, but to me it doesn't matter, right? Because I'm not in a big truck. I can go wherever I want. Turn 
exactly right on West Lindale Avenue. As long as there's a road I can go there, you know. Yep. All kinds of interesting things we've been seeing today. That is for sure. Anyways, we'll continue on with our journey. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come. 